So today I want to talk about the new Siri 2.0 updates coming to iPhone later this year with iOS 18. Now you may remember when Apple announced iOS 18 and Apple Intelligence, they also shared a new Siri UI. Now over the past several weeks since Apple released Beta 1, I've been using this new Siri UI on my iPhone and there's a few things that I wanted to share with you guys that I did not share initially when I installed this on my device. Now this is still possible within iOS 18 Beta 1 and I've been using it as I mentioned ever since beta 1 was released and I've noticed a few things that I think are worth a mention and I wanted to share those with you guys in today's video now there's a few things that Siri does when you're either on the lock screen or the home screen in regards to sound and how animations work or when you use your voice so let's start with that so here on the home screen I want you to take a look at the side of the software right here when I press on the side button it looks like I'm pushing into the software itself and I want you to also hear the sound so take a look at that and hear this you see that looks pretty cool it looks like you're pushing into the software and that's the sound we get when we use Siri with the new UI 2.0 now also if we go into the lock screen here the sound changes so hear the sound so that's the different sound there for the lock screen that's pretty cool and the animation is fantastic you see the animation and as I speak the actual colors as you can see right there go according to the sound of my voice I think it looks fantastic I think many users will love this with the new Siri 2.0 updates now when you use your voice and use the custom Siri command you get this really sweet animation from the bottom of the screen that goes all the way up and then it looks like your iPhone software has lifted so take a look at this hey Siri you see that how the bottom of the screen sort of lifted up let me do that one more time hey siri that is so cool and this is something that i've noticed over the past several weeks with the different sounds different animations when you use your voice when you're on the home screen and or lock screen now i also noticed that when you double tap on the bottom of your screen you can bring up the type to siri now this is not fully functional right now obviously we don't have any of the apple intelligence and this is very buggy so i have to constantly tap in order to bring up this ui as you can see right there so the idea is to double tap on the bottom of the screen to bring up the siri keyboard so that you can type away in situations where you can't use your voice and so you see there it takes me several tries but I'm sure Apple will polish this up very nicely before the official release and you'll be able to simply double tap on the bottom of your screen to bring up the Siri keyboard and you can type away in case you can't use your voice you'll be able to just double tap on the bottom home bar bring up the keyboard and use Apple intelligence chat GPT capabilities and use all the new Siri updates coming later down the road now I've also noticed that when you're in this type to Siri mode with the keyboard you get this new icon on the bottom right hand corner as you can see right there and if you tap that icon you return back to the voice command series as you can see right there now keep in mind that iOS 18 the official release will most likely happen in mid to late September this year but Siri 2.0 and a lot of these new Siri updates will most likely not be coming to the iPhone until perhaps early 2025 with iOS 18.3 or 18.4 but this was just a quick preview of some of the things I've learned after using Siri 2.0 on this iPhone over the past several weeks. Let me know what you think about the new Siri. Do you like it? Do you prefer this one? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.